battle royales are games that are like hard labor. Some people love it, and some people are just too darn good at it. So no one really explores the realm of possibilities when it comes to what they can create. But not Shark Mob AB, when they created Vampire Blood Hunt. Shark Mob AB was founded in 2017, and as a AAA title company, they were working on Xborn. The release date to Xborn is unknown as of making this video, hopefully they come out with that soon, and Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt, which is the game we're going to be talking about today. Blood Hunt came out September 7th in 2021, and I will, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that it came out three years ago, up until literally right now, and, uh, that, that, uh, that, that, that is crazy, that was crazy, that was crazy to find out. At the time of making this video, full disclaimer real quick, I have not played Van the Vampire Masquerade game series, though I wish to eventually do at one point in time, so I'm judging this game basically off of the review that I have off of Vampire Masquerade itself. Now, with this game, Vampire Blood Hunt, I want to talk about the pros first, so let's get right into the nitty, the gritty, the goofy, and the schnoofy with what we got going on. The movement to this game, it feels very nice, and it's very fun overall. It feels very cartoony, and it's just really nice to be able to roleplay as a vampire. It has my inner Bella just trembling at my knees, just knowing that Jacob is around the corner, just lurking for me, just waiting for me to make the wrong move with Edward. I don't really think, as I was playing this, that I don't really think that this game has any other really counterparts to it. There's not really any games that operate the way that this one does. The way your character levels up and just kind of roams around the city of uh, Count Dracula, wherever you're at, and eating innocent bystanders to boost your character and has that roguelike feel, honestly, it just puts joyriding in GTA to shame. I'm killing more bystanders than... You know what? I can't make that joke. I... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. It just feels like a very fun vampire battle royale and with a lot of interesting things to enjoy as you play with the gameplay and the mechanics and there's wall bouncing which I didn't really know about and climbing walls feels really cool. Feels like I'm beast from the X-Men. Harry and a bad boy. It has unique character classes that you can customize how they look. Though it all is just sex appeal, I'm not gonna lie, this is a big thing I don't like. It is very, very, very hard to make your character be fully clothed in this game. It, it is insane. I It is a struggle to make them look like they're ready to go to church, let alone any any job interview or just outside on the sidewalk it, it's crazy the main lobby does have a lot to look at uh with an armory a nightclub an altar a bar etc i'm not going to get into all of like the crazy little locations that they do have but it is really cool however as much as i do love role playing as a vampire and role playing in this location and the place that they have created I'm more focused on the gameplay and like getting in there and starting the shooting and looting and just overall the, the battle royale aspect. Though the atmosphere does feel really cool and it's really interesting and looking at these locations for the first time is really nice. That's that's really all they are and uh, I'm <laughs> I'm not really I'm here to, I'm here to do some shooting. I'm not trying to relive my cousin Sims role play house. Uh, so y yeah. Overall, this game does what it wants to in the gameplay, the movement, and the atmosphere, and the best sense that they could. And uh, you can do with that what you will. But I will say that the gameplay, the movement, and just how the game functions, it feels very nice and it feels like they the development team did put a lot of thought into it i know i might have stuttered there i i'm so <laughs> i'm sorry now with every video of reviews that i do i do like putting in cons but don't worry don't worry don't like hate this video because i put cons in it, with pros there has to come cons but i also put my opinion on how to fix it not just saying negative things but more of like Hey, this is a bad thing. These are bad things. I think this is a good fix to it. This my this fix to this game seems a little mm, little eh, and I think some people might not like it, but just hear me out on it and I think it'll make sense. But let's get into the cons first. But the big con for me is the progression system seems very limited. The biggest thing in this game is it has like one perk on top of a level change, which obviously comes with cosmetics, but the perk really only changes like small different things. And it doesn't really do much. Like, it's really cool that I can have other perks to change, but it's like plus 10% reload speed, start with a melee weapon, all good things, but like, I don't know. It just, it doesn't really feel like it could, it does as much as it could. And it just kind of feels like they kind of like were like, oh, threw out some really minor examples and they just put it right here. It like, it doesn't help to the replayability. It just kind of, kind of keeps it the way it is. 
I know I mentioned how the lobby does look really nice with the armory and everything like that. There isn't really anything in there. Like it, 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 you just kind of walk around, you meet these people for the first time and then, and that's it. You just, you're just kind of standing there with your hand in your pants, just waiting for the game to load in or emoting at the top of the stairs. I mean, there's not really much to do. As much as I don't like Destiny 2 and Bungie, the tower in Destiny 2 has more to do in it. And Cade 6 is dead. That, that, yeah. When you spawn, you can pick the location. And this is something that I actually really didn't like, but you can't pick the specific spot like I can pick where I spawn on the map like so if I want to spawn in the cemetery I can pick the cemetery but I can't click the exact spot that I want to spawn in and to and to me that doesn't really make any sense because why can't I spawn right where I click it, it doesn't really make any sense because you already spawned me randomly it seems like it's a random generator where you spawn why not just make it so I can spawn exactly where I clicked because you already spawned me in the middle of the road you already spawned me in these weird spots like what I don't I don't need it, it that part really just confused me it feels like they really could have just made it so I could spawn where I click and I think the repercussions to that is oh you spawn in the building with other people okay if everyone else has the idea and everyone spawns in one building then everyone just has a crazy game that it could be fun I don't know I don't really see a downside to it it just seems like it just doesn't make any sense it feels kind of lazy but unique at the same time but just weird and lazy in my opinion the description for the guns and the ammo are just uh so, eh, like, the, the, they don't call the AK-47 the AK-47. They call it an assault rifle. I Like, why? Like, literally, why? It, I don't think AK-47 is copyrighted. It just makes no sense. And then the ammo in this game, it's either heavy caliber or lower caliber. And to me, that just makes me go like, what? I, oh, what? Why? Why not just put titles on everything? Call the ammo 556 five, ammo or just call, like, the shotgun the 12 gauge or the double barrel, the 16 gauge. It just feels like they just cut corners whenever it came to naming things. And I don't think whenever it comes to making a game that people are going to play constantly, those are corners you can cut. Like double barrel cross, like du double barrel crossbows would be hilarious. Dual crossbows, that makes sense. Double crossbows or like, you know, and there is a gun in the game called like double tap. And there are some unique named guns and like obviously a katana. What are you going to call it? Slice and dice? No. But like, so things like that, like I think that's fair, like a crowbar it's a crowbar i don't expect a different name to it and yes technically an assault rifle is an assault rifle but you can't really tell me that that doesn't seem a little lazy to you like i just feel like you you could, there's so many names and guns on the planet you could come up with creative names and like maybe one that shoots blood you call it the vampire gusher or the the gun that brings you life the reaper hashtag copyright that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say now this one's a little interesting it feels like this is a game and and hear me out with this one it feels like this is one of those games where you pick up and it's just like i should be good at this game now when i say that hear me out it, take a game like valorant right in valorant why do you want to get good at the game because getting a kill feels rewarding there's a lot of people that are good at the game the skill ceiling's pretty high and a lot of people play the game so if you get a kill or you ace in a game you're like hell yeah I just aced. Vampire Blood Hunt doesn't really feel like that kind of game because it feels like whenever I get into a lobby and I get a bunch of kills, that's to be expected, right? You could have the same issue in Valorant, but I'd wager that more people are like, hell yeah, I got an ace, where if I kill a whole squad in this game, I'm just like, hey, I killed the whole squad. Or if I die, I'm just like, ah, I died. Oh, well, like this just feels like one of those games that you play for fun, but for it being competitive, like having like not ranked, but like trios, duos, or being a battle royale and having that competitive feel to it. I don't think it's one of those games that has that kind of luxury to just be like, obviously it's a video game. So take it with a grain of salt. If you're just interested in playing a vampire game for fun, definitely pick up this game. I 100% think you should. But if you're just kind of like a competitive person like I am, this game is just kind of like meh, like eh, I'm good at it. If I die, oh well. If I learn the mechanics, will I get better? Probably. But is it worth learning? Not really. I don't know. Uh, the compare. I, I don't know. It just that's just my opinion on it. I don't know if people agree with that one. That one like factual with my pros and cons. I know this one's a little opinionated, but take everything I say with a grain of salt. I shouldn't have said you can agree with the facts part. Agree with what you want, but I'm just saying like, eh. Uh, I mentioned I was stuttered in the beginning because I actually did find out that this game came out in 2021 because I read that it came out in 2022 and I was like, okay, that makes sense. But 2020, September 7th, 2021, this game does still feel like it's an early access for coming for being in 2024. 
I'm proud that it still has people that are dedicated to it on Steam and on PlayStation 5. I don't know why it's not out on Xbox yet. I don't know what they did, but they, yeah, you deserve that Xbox. Screw you, Bill Gates. But I don't know. I don't really know why it still feels like this. There doesn't seem like there's a lot of customization options. Like I'm a big person who likes customizing hair and things like that. And it just feels like there's only eight options. The, and it just, there's too much. It just feels very meh. It feels like PUBG, but not with anything that makes like, would make PUBG hella playable. Like what makes PUBG really playable is competitive aspects to it there's a lot of really great replayability a lot of great customization in the game there's a lot of things you can unlock in the game that are really cool this game doesn't really have that it just feels like it tries to do its own thing and it does do its own thing well but for the re repetition and the unique that they could have in there it just feels very empty and it's because i think they're trying to give up on it when i think they should just show the game more love which now we segue into one of my fixes now, again, this whole video is my own opinion. You are within your own rights to completely disagree with me. In fact, I implore you to. I implore you to disagree with me and be like, no, you're wrong, you silly, silly buckle looty. And I'm okay with that. I'm a grown man. I'll admit if I'm wrong. If this game blows up and everyone points and laughs at me in the corner, do that. I, am, I encourage that. But my fix for this game is just simple. Care for your game. If you care for any type of game, I feel like that game will slowly start to prosper. This game feels like it's live streaming to zero viewers. I'm going to be completely honest. You pop in that live stream, you give it a heart. I promise you the game will start to prosper and you'll start to see better things happen to it. But the heart needs to come from a development team and they need to really dedicate some time into fixing it. I understand that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I bet you when this game came out, it was banging because if this is the state it came out in, awesome, dude, fantastic. This is a perfect state for this game to come out. And, and honestly, if it was updated to it in 2023, hell yeah. But I feel like this is a game that just needs a little bit more love. Not like Anthem, who banned its only good streamer, <laughs> but like you need to like actually dedicate your time into it and want it to do good. Worst case scenario, you dedicate a whole couple years working on this game, but you're really proud of the work you did. No one's gonna take away that work that you did. If you are passionate for a project, I feel like everyone's going to enjoy the project you worked on either way. And if not, eventually someone will, and then they'll shed light to it. And I just, I don't know, I, I don't know. I don't know. But to the fixes, like actual fixes, they title the guns, give the ammo an actual label, add more to the empty atmosphere that you created, slap on some special events, and I promise you that this game will probably start to prosper. And I think that that is something that everyone can kind of agree on because at the state that this game is in uh, uh, right, right now, not to quote the local kids on the street that I talk to every day, this, uh, this is not sick on the street, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, the gameplay for sure is the main reason that I would pick up this game. Any other reason would be more of me giving you a goof goof reason. The customization isn't too bad, but I don't like not having a lot of hair choices, and I did mention that. So don't pretend that I didn't mention that. That's that's a me thing. That's a me thing. Overall, I'd give this game probably about six skid marks out of ten. I know that's not enough for a full pants explosion, but understand that I might play this game more but there's no reason for me to get good at it. And again, I'm very competitive. That's kind of a big killer for me, and it kind of sucks. And for a competitive game itself, I don't think that's a good look on it. I think if you, it, it, and again, you just got to show it some love, and then I think people will start to love it back. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the Twitch and the Discord in the links below. And with that, my name is John. Have a great night. Peace out.